Assalamu alaikum. Greetings of peace to all. Thank you so much for joining us and watching our YouTube channel. We are so excited to share another Ramadan inspiration by our beloved Imam Abdullah Jabir and uh, Imam Abdullah. Welcome. We're so glad you're back. It must be Friday. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It is Friday, Sister Sumaya. It's a pleasure to uh, be back and to join this platform with the ISB, which is Sumaya Badr Tariq and uh, the entire ISB family. And it is a blessing to be here uh, today again to share this moment with you. And I'm very grateful uh, to Allah for you uh, sharing your precious moments uh, on this blessed day Friday uh, with ISB and myself and for allowing us to uh, join you. Uh, today, I want to talk about something that I struggle with. And that is the struggle, the, the inner struggle that, that I have of being distracted or wanting to be in the limelight. So the focus is stay away or stay out of the limelight. There's a lot going on in our lives. You know, we have multiple roles. Um, you know, you are a spouse, you are a parent, you are an employee or a business owner, you are a entrepreneur, you are a volunteer, you are a brother, you are a son or a daughter or a sister, and so much more. For our young viewers, you are a student, you are an intern. There are so many different roles that we have. And the common thing that we want is we want to improve in everything at the same time. We want to be a better spouse. We want to be a better son, a better daughter, a better employee, a better team player in you know, everything that we do. And in that pursuit, we get overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed. And at the end of the day, we are doing a lot, but we're not progressing. I don't know if that feeling is, you know, synonymous uh, with you, but this is something that I struggle with, where I may be doing a lot, but I don't see the progress that I would like to see. So that's the idea of staying out of the limelight. There's too much going on. You know, there is a word, and this is the focus of today's uh, inspiration, and that word in the divine narrative of the Quran, our holy scripture, as Muslims, is ghafla. Ghafla means to be distracted. In Arabic, you would say, rajul that this person is a foolish person. So it means to be foolish. And when you say this person is a foolish person and you use the word ghafla with that, it means a person who's easily distracted. It's a person that, you know, if he's looking ahead and you tap him on his shoulder, he's easily going to look, right? That's ghafla, that so easily distract that something happens when we're jumping on it. There's a news alert, we're jumping on it. A celebrity is doing something, we're jumping on it. And we're in the middle of our work day. Or we're having a conversation with their loved one, and there is a notification on our phone, we are opening it. That's ghafla. That's the idea that we're easily distracted. Now, ghafla is so important, and it impedes our success in all fronts. It impedes our success in our spiritual front, in our physical front, in, in our financial, in our professional, in our psychological, emotional, all, all fronts. Ghafla, or the idea of being easily distracted, stops you from growing, stops you from becoming the best person that you and I, we can be. And ghafla is such an you know, issue that in the Quranic narrative, every prophet has war warned his nation, his people against it. Whether it's the word of ghafla or the word of do not be fooled or do not be foolish by being easily distracted, right? And there's a verse in Surah Dhariyat, the chapter Dhariyat, where God tells us, لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةً In the hereafter, when we will have a conversation with God, God will tell us that, you know, you were in this state of, this you know, distracted state, unmindful state, right? Min hadha, from the reality that you would return back to us. This is the reality. But today, when we're in the hereafter and when we're standing in front of God and we're witnesses 
on ourselves and God forbid against ourselves, on that day, God will say, and we have removed that distraction today. There's no more, there's no limelight today. There's no noise today. It's just you, right? It's just you. That veil that prevented you from seeing, we have removed it today. And today your eyes are struck with everything that's happening, right? So I want us to focus on the fact that every prophet warned his nation against this, that don't be easily distracted, right? And one of the tools that Satan uses in, our, in the divine narrative is to whisper in our, in our hearts, in our ears, and he wants us to be easily distracted. He wants us to lose focus. Now, staying focused is so important. Staying focused is important because it's how we grow. One of, the, one of the teachings of the prophet, prophetic teachings, is he said that from the beauty of a person's faith, from the beauty of a person's Islam, is that he or she is able to step away from the limelight. He or she is able to step away from the noise and focus on that which is meaningful. Now that's important for our professional growth also. And the beautiful or or the, the, the thing that we need to be mindful of is that our lives are intertwined, you know? Your professional life is intertwined with your physical life. Your physical life is intertwined with your spiritual life. So sometimes when we want to just focus on, you know, our professional life and we struggle and it's not improving, it's important to think, well, what's missing? And I'll give you a simple example. You know, let's just say I had a really bad argument with my spouse. I haven't, but let's just say I had a bad argument with my spouse. So how did that affect me? Emotionally, yes. Or psychologically, or both. Now let's just say I have to go pray, and I stand in prayer. How will this affect me? How will that argument affect me? It will affect me spiritually, because in the prayer, I'll be thinking about that argument. And then later on, let's just say it's time for dinner and we have to eat together. Maybe I won't eat dinner, right? So it affected me emotionally, psychologically. It, 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 it uh, impacted me in spiritually and also physically. So it's so important to understand that also, right? That we, our lives, different aspects of our lives are, are intertwined. So when I'm speaking about staying away from the limelight, this, what we're going through right now, this moment that we spend together right here, these are very precious moments. You know why? Because you get to focus on yourself. We get to focus on ourselves. We get to understand who we are. When is the last time you stopped to think about your feelings, your emotions? Why do you get angry so fast? Why do I feel sad? When that happens, why can't I mend my ties? And typically, we don't. We don't take time out to ask ourselves, to validate our own, or to just reflect. So what we're going through right now, this quarantine, and although in, in our state things are reopening, think about where you are before you reopen yourself. Take time out. Stay away from the limelight, from the noise. Now I want to end with what the erudite scholar Al-Ghazali said. He said, think about your heart and yourself as a reservoir, a lake. When everything is calm, that water is crystal clear and you can see the depths of it. But when there's a storm of emotions, when there's so much movement going on, that water becomes murky because the soil and the dirt at the bottom makes that water very murky and you can't even see anything. And one of the reasons that we have, a, we have difficulty growing is because our lives are very murky. There's too much moving around. There's too many things happening. So it's important to stay away from the limelight. It's important to take time out, whether it's a minute or two, to sit with ourselves, to give time to yourself. 
How's your relationship with your friend? You may say it's good. You know, it's pretty nice. How's your relationship with your spouse? Pretty nice. How's your relationship with your boss? You may say it's, it's good. With your neighbor? Typically, we have an answer for all of that. But the most important question, how is your relationship with yourself? That leaves us dumbfounded. That leaves us without words, without an answer. And that's the most important question. What is your relationship with yourself? So if we want to beautify ourselves, the, our faith, Islam, teaches us to leave the noise and focus internally. And what we're going through right now affords us that opportunity because we're away from the limelight. We have that opportunity to focus and really think about who am I? When is the last time you thought about that? Who are you? What defines you? What really makes you happy? Not just watching a movie or binge watching Netflix. That's not happy, that's joy. Joy is temporal, happiness lasts. You know, are we pursuing short burst of the dopamine effect and just burst of jo joy? Or do you really wanna experience happiness? True happiness comes in moments when we are with ourselves with God, with looking inwardly. So I want to, you know, stop with that and just say, you know, being in the limelight is not always the best thing. If you want to answer that question, what is your relationship with yourself? You and I, we both need to take time out and focus on ourselves and let ourselves grow. So with that, again, I'm very appreciative of you spending these moments with us. Whatever is good is from Allah and his messenger. And any mistake is from my misunderstanding. Uh, I really appreciate on Fridays you allowing me to share some thoughts with you and your family. Uh, may Allah bless you and your family and the ISB and all of our leadership with the best of this world and the next. And I look forward to uh, next Friday. And until then, uh, stay away from the limelight. Focus on self-growth and ask yourself, what is my relationship with myself? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah, Imam Abdullah. This is uh, just so beautiful and that is a very difficult question. How is your relationship with yourself? I don't think we ever ask that of ourselves or ask that of each other. And that is um, a very pivotal question for people. So I challenge you like Imam Abdullah did of asking yourself, how is your relationship with yourself? And um, you know, let us know, let us know, share it with somebody at least. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Again, thank you to Imam Abdullah Jabir and uh, thank you to our ISB team who's always there for us. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to work at the ISB, we'd really appreciate your financial support. It can be done at isbatlanta.org. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and you all have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. <laughs>